Normal distribution of error terms. Assumption. The residuals or error terms should be normally distributed. Why normal distribution? An error is the combined influence of one or more independent variables that are not included in the model. The central limit theorem states that if there are a large number of independent and identically distributed random variables, then the distribution of their sum tends to be a normal distribution as the number of variables increases. Thus, the CLT theoretically explains the reason why the normal distribution is assumed for the errors. How to determine if this assumption is met? There are some common ways to check if this assumption is met. 1. Check the assumption visually using QQ plots. A QQ plot, short for quantile quantile plot, is a type of plot that we can use to determine whether or not the residuals of a model follow a normal distribution. If the points on the plot roughly form a straight diagonal line, then the normality assumption is met. The following QQ plot shows an example of residuals that roughly follow a normal distribution. However, the QQ plot below shows an example of when the residuals clearly depart from a straight diagonal line, which indicates that they do not follow normal distribution. What happens if the residual errors are not n, 0, sigma squared, distributed? If the residual errors of regression are not n, 0, sigma squared, then statistical tests of significance that depend on the errors having an n, 0, sigma squared, distribution, simply stop working. For example, 1, the F statistic used by the F test for regression analysis has the required chi-squared distribution only if the regression errors are n, 0, sigma squared, distributed. If regression errors are not normally distributed, the F test cannot be used to determine if the model's regression coefficients are jointly significant. You will then have to use some other test to figure out if your regression model did a better job than a straight line through the data set mean. 2. Similarly, the computation of t-values and confidence intervals assumes that regression errors are n, 0, sigma squared, distributed. If the regression errors are not normally distributed, t-values for the model's coefficients and the model's predictions become inaccurate, and you should not put too much faith into the confidence intervals for the coefficients or the predictions. Remedies. If the normality assumption is violated, you have a few options. 1. First, verify that any outliers aren't having a huge impact on the distribution. If there are outliers present, make sure that they are real values and that they aren't data entry errors. 2. Next, you can apply a nonlinear transformation to the independent and or dependent variable. Common examples include taking the log, the square root, or the reciprocal of the independent and or dependent variable. If you have any doubts regarding this topic, please comment down below. I will respond as per my best. Signing out.